Hey everyone, welcome back to Financial Futures. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. Today, we've got some important updates about Social Security that you don't want to miss. As you might have heard, the Social Security increase was officially announced last week. But here's the thing next month, in November, certain Social Security beneficiaries are going to receive not just one, but two checks. Today, we're diving into why that's happening, who qualifies, and how it all works. Alright, so before we break down why certain beneficiaries are getting two checks in November, let's go over four major social security changes that could catch some retirees by surprise. First up, social security benefits are increasing by 2.5% across the board. That's right, starting in 2025, your monthly benefits are protected against inflation thanks to the COLA increase. Next, higher earners will see an increase in payroll taxes. In 2025, the maximum taxable earnings limit will increase from $168,600 to $176,100, meaning that anyone making more than that won't pay Social Security tax on the income above the limit. If you're retiring soon, good news! the maximum monthly benefit will go up. Right now, the max is around $4,875, but in 2025, it's increasing to $5,018 per month for new retirees. For those retiring before full retirement age, you'll now be able to earn a little more without losing benefits. In 2025, the earnings limit increases, allowing you to keep more of your benefits even if you're still working. Now, let's talk about why some Social Security beneficiaries are getting two payments in November. According to The Hill, next month, about 7 million Supplemental Security Income, SSI, beneficiaries will receive an extra check. It's all because of a quirk in the calendar. Normally, SSI recipients get one payment on the first of the month. But when the first lands on a weekend or holiday, like it does in December, payments get pushed to the last business day of the previous month. So, in November, SSI recipients will receive their November payment and December's check, making it two payments in total. And just to be clear, this double payment is only for SSI beneficiaries. Regular Social Security recipients will get their usual one check in November and December. But come January, everyone will see that COLA boost in their payments. Let's get into our second topic. Walgreens, one of the most recognizable pharmacy chains in the U.S., just announced a massive wave of store closures. In the next three years, over 1,200 stores will shut down. That's a huge number, and it's bound to affect millions of people who rely on these pharmacies for their prescriptions. So why does this matter? For many, Walgreens is the go-to spot to pick up monthly prescriptions. Imagine showing up to your regular pharmacy and finding the doors locked, or even worse, scrambling to find a new location last minute. This could seriously disrupt people's lives especially those who depend on regular medication. This isn't just about Walgreens. Recently, 7-Eleven also announced the closure of over 400 stores. Could this be a sign of something bigger happening in our economy? Declining foot traffic, lower consumer spending, and rising operational costs are forcing big brands to cut their losses. Could this be the beginning of a trend where more companies shutter their locations? If your local Walgreens is on the closure list, don't panic. Transferring your prescriptions to a new pharmacy is actually pretty easy. Here's what you need to do. Call your new preferred pharmacy whether it's CVS, Walmart, or an independent store. Give them your prescription information. They'll handle the transfer for you. But here's the kicker. If you don't want the hassle of physically going to a pharmacy, consider online options. Many online pharmacies offer mail delivery, so you can get your prescription sent straight to your door. With so many closures, we might be entering a new era for pharmacies. 
Whether it's the rise of online prescription services or innovative delivery methods, change is inevitable. The way we access medication may evolve as we see traditional brick-and-mortar locations fade away. So what do you think? Is this just the beginning of more major brands scaling back? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video to keep others informed. And of course, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on the latest updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.